Hello, this is Christopher Jones from Bicycles Network Australia. How do you protect your smartphone when you're out on the bike? And how do you use your smartphone as a cycle computer? The Australian company Quadlock have a solution and they've been around for a little while now building hard cases for smartphones. A hard case but also mounting solutions. So I have a smartphone and can very easily put it inside this quad lock case. The case has a soft backing so there's not going to scratch my phone on the inside and when I have a look at this side I can see there is the mount and also some little gaps for my button. So I'll put this straight in now. Fits in very very easily. I just make sure that it's not on silent mode and now I've got a very very good hardcover which I can actually leave on my smartphone permanently. Now I actually have been doing this, this has been my uh, my cover for my smartphone which I've been using uh, on a daily basis. The mounting area for the quad lock, it does protrude slightly however with these thin smartphones it's really not a problem and I find it quite comfortable to use and carry about and then also to connect onto the bike. So Quadlock provide by default a Quadlock mounting solution, which we've had a look at before in some of their um, some of their older version cases, such as for the iPhone 4, and this mounts very nicely on the stem and the handlebars. Uh, in this review, we are actually more interested in their out front mount. The out front mount actually looks a little bit different uh, and just as easy to put on the uh, case and then click down and turn and then I've got my iPhone or my smartphone nicely uh, connected to my handlebars out the front so I can see it a little bit more easy and then I can use it for example as my cycle computer. I can connect up Strava, I turn off the option to say that the it goes to sleep so that means it's permanently on. That does mean it's going to chew up a bit more battery power of my smartphone when I keep the display permanently on. And one of the other things that I'm always concerned about if I have my smartphone while riding is water. What happens if you know there's a bit of water about? Now as part of the kit you get what they call the poncho. The poncho for the smartphone is a little tougher to put on. It does go on easily but it gives you quite a reliable fit. So I'm just putting this on right now. Wasn't really too difficult. Um, and now I've got a poncho. I asked Quadlock how waterproof this is. Now it's probably what you would call splash proof. You know you can rely on this when there's a bit of water and the water won't come onto your phone. However if you are in a very very uh, heavy downfall you might want to look at a different solution. I use things such as jersey bins which can which are kind of a ziplock type of uh, pouches can put it inside one of those and that means I'm much more secure. However for daily use this poncho is a nice backup solution. Through the poncho, it can be a little tougher to kind of turn on and activate it. On this iPhone, I have a, a little detection which kind of automatically logs me in with my thumbprint and it doesn't work through the poncho, uh, so it means I'll have to take it off or just type in my pin code. However, generally I'm finding it okay to be able to press a few buttons or to start and stop. So this is the uh, quad lock, and which, which is the hard case, and also the poncho. It has the different mounting solutions, the standard or regular mount, plus the out front mount are definitely worth having a look at also because they are Australian and they work very well. So stay tuned to our episodes on Bicycles Network Australia. You can subscribe so you're always updated when we release new videos and I'll see you next time.